the 2018 Excellence in Public Power Communications Awards. Award of Merit, Azusa Light and Water, California. Every day you rely on the city of Azusa Light and Water to feed electricity and water to your homes and businesses. We currently serve approximately 17,000 electric with 23,000 water customers and they enjoy one of the lowest electric and water rates in Southern California. We know a thing or two with the water utility established in 1901 and the electric utility following in 1904 that it takes a team to help build one of the most reliable grids in Southern California. So good, in fact, that the electric side has been awarded reliable public power since 2011 and running. We will do whatever it takes, even working around the clock, to make sure the power and water are always flowing. We are Azusa Light and Water. Award of Merit, Turlock Irrigation District, California. Award of Excellence, Detroit Lakes Public Utilities, Minnesota. Oh, Katie's here. Hey mom, can I have some money for pizza? Yeah honey, grab some off the AC. Okay, cool. Honey, do you have any cash? I'm gonna take Sully to a movie. Yeah, check the water heater in the fridge. You may not always see the money you save on our high efficiency equipment rebates, but it's there. It's like free money. When we all use less energy, we can delay or reduce the size of building an additional power plant for Detroit Lakes, which saves us all money. Detroit Lakes Public Utilities also offers peak demand programs that helps customers cost-effectively install and operate central air conditioners, electric water heaters, and off-peak heating systems. DL Public Utilities empowers our community because we're part of the community. DL Public Utilities, we're helping you save energy and money. All right, everything's installed. You should start seeing more savings. Great. All right, let's go. You guys going to the movie? Yeah. Get some popcorn. Thanks. Award of Merit, Edmund Electric, Oklahoma. What are you going to do? First thing you always do is call and report it. Hello, thank you for calling Edmund Electric. How may I help you? I'd like to report a power outage. Okay, we'll get right on that. Thank you for calling. Power outages in Edmund are not coming, but they do happen. Some are caused by lightning strikes. Some outages happen when a vehicle hits a power pole. Some are even caused by a daredevil squirrel snooping around where it shouldn't. <laughs> These are usually small outages and easy to repair quickly. However, there are weather events like ice storms and tornadoes that can damage power poles. They even knock down tree limbs that fall on power lines. No, Mom, don't ever touch a down power line even if you think there's no power going through it. 
These lines are dangerous. Just call Edmund Electric and they'll know exactly what to do. When a widespread outage occurs, Edmund Electric has a priority plan to restore power fast and safely. First, they focus on threats to public safety, like removing down power lines that block roads or streets, or even popcorn. Sometimes, train lines have to be cut and cleared to fix the lines. Once the emergency repairs are made, Edmund Electric evaluates every affected area. Substation damages must be mended first. Then power is restored to essential locations, like fire stations, police stations, and especially hospitals. Next, Edmund Electric works to restore power to large groups of customers. Yay! Then they restore areas with smaller groups of customers. Also yay! And finally, crews are sent to fix problems for any remaining individuals. You're probably wondering how you can help. First, always report a power outage, even if you think a neighbor already has. Second, never touch a downed power line. We don't want to see anybody get hurt. And finally, be patient. Each power outage is different. MN Electric will try to keep you updated on when you will have power again. Just know that their linemen are working hard to get power to your home fast and safely. Any questions? Just one. Where did you get the heart monitor? Um, Thank you for your time and please enjoy the movie. See ya. For more information, visit edmundelectric.com. Edmund Electric. Now that's the power of Edmund. Award of Merit. Greenville Utilities Commission. North Carolina. Identity crisis? What? Don't leave us guessing. Tell us who you are when mailing your GUC payment. Please include your stub with your payment when sending in the mail. It helps us identify your account. Award of Excellence, Bryan, Texas Utilities. At BTU, the difference is you. That's why we're one of only two RP3 Diamond Certified Power Providers in Texas. We consistently have lower outage times and electrical rates compared to the national average. So you can get back to doing what you love. And you can power that too. Because as the largest power provider in the Brazos Valley, the difference is you. Award of Excellence, Western Area Power Administration, Colorado. My name is Dick Morris and I'm a member of the Board of Directors. We serve probably 90% of the residents in Trinity County. I can't imagine what would have happened to our economy, to our county, had we not had a connection with Western Area Power Administration. Without WAPA and our partnership, our customers would be dramatically worse off. It's allowed us to change lives but never dreamed to what, to what extent. Weaverville is a gold rush town founded in 1850. Following the Second World War, timber really became an important focus of our county. By far, our most significant employer is Trinity River Lumber Mill. We're here to make lumber and to employ people in the community. They provide a really good paying job and they bring in revenue that we really don't have any other way of doing. Prior to Trinity Public Utilities District being formed, one of the big issues was extremely high electric rates. Weaverville had, if not the highest rates in California, nearly the highest rates in California. It was just killing our community. 
What we said to the voters, if you approve the notion of us developing a publicly owned system here, then we will do our best to negotiate a fair price. On the 1st of July, we took our first delivery of power from the Western Area Power Administration. At that time, our mill was also closed. Given that the utility cost of power was dramatically reduced, we were able to find an operator to take over Trinity River Lumber. One day, an old friend of mine, he wanted to talk to me about mattresses. And I said, you wanted a single bed mattress? He said, yes, but I want five of them. And I said, what is this about? He said, well, I have five kids. They have never had a real bed. And I got a job at the mill, and I want five mattresses for my kids. And that's what having jobs and what our access to public power means to me and to this community. Anybody that has the opportunity to partner with WAPA, I would strongly encourage them to do so. The relationship we have, the partnership we have, has just been outstanding. We have an allocation of power that will take our community into the next 50 to 80 years, or longer, perhaps. We are so fortunate. Award of Merit, Brownsville Public Utilities Board, Texas. Service is the act of helping or doing work for something bigger than ourselves. Public service is a promise to the community to give our best every day. We believe in what we do because we realize this responsibility makes Brownsville a better place to work and live. It's a promise to deliver reliable and safe electricity. Deliver clean and safe water. Ensure community health with the best wastewater treatment. I am Brownsville PUB. 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 Award of Merit, Chelan County PUD, Washington. Phil Johnson and family pack your bags. You're going to Disneyland. Touchdown! Save your energy for the things that really matter, like controlling the temperature inside your home from anywhere. <laughs> Take advantage of rebates on energy-saving smart thermostats. Learn more at conservationmakesense.org. Award of Merit, Fayetteville PWC, North Carolina. At Fayetteville's Public Works Commission, people make the difference. My name's Chris and I'm a lineman at PWC. Chris and his colleagues are always ready when repairs are needed. More reliable service and faster response to a power outage are benefits PwC offers as a public power provider. Public power means more jobs for local residents and rates among the lowest in the state for the power that runs your home. See PwC's website for ways you can conserve power. At Fayetteville's Public Works Commission, people make the difference. I'm Letitia, a customer service representative for PwC. Letitia and her colleagues are committed to providing excellent customer service, whether it's on the phone, face-to-face, -face, or behind the scenes, making sure you have convenient ways to communicate and pay your bills. At PwC's website, you can review your many payment options, manage your account online, check your usage, and find useful tips to conserve power and water. At Fayetteville's Public Works Commission, people make the difference. Hi, I'm Chad Groves, Conservation Specialist at PwC. Chad and his colleagues support PwC's incentive programs that allow customers to earn bill credits for taking steps that conserve power and water. Taking steps to conserve helps customers save money on their utility bills for years to come while preserving resources and protecting our environment. For conservation tips and incentives, visit FadePWC.com. At Fayetteville's Public Works Commission, 
people make the difference. Hi, my name is Randall Cummings and I'm a water treatment plant operator here at PwC. Randall and his colleagues operate PwC's award-winning facilities for water treatment and wastewater reclamation. They install and continuously maintain our water and sewer lines. And they help PwC provide customers with a clean, safe water supply that exceeds EPA standards. For tips on conserving water, visit PwC's website. Award of Merit, Southern Minnesota Municipal Power Agency. When you end your day, our work has just begun. In fact, our work has been ongoing. Since 1977, our power has battled the bitter winter of our state. For four decades, we've tirelessly worked to supply electricity to your SIMPA member utility. And tonight, we're keeping the monsters at bay. We work hard to keep your life comfortable. Award of Excellence, Lakeland Electric, Florida. We know you work hard for your money, so Lakeland Electric works hard for you. We're here to serve you, not to earn a profit. In fact, serving our community is our ultimate calling. As a public power company, our business is bringing you energy that's affordable, dependable, and sustainable. After all, we're owned by you, our community. When you pay your Lakeland Electric bill, your money goes to keep the power flowing, because that's what we're entrusted to do. Here's how each dollar is divided up. 48 cents goes to energy cost. This covers the cost of generating electricity and delivering it to your homes and businesses. 35 cents of your dollar is used to pay for fuel cost, like coal, oil, natural gas, purchased power, and cost related to solar energy production. As with most electric utilities, the cost of fuel is passed directly to customers with no markup. Seven cents goes to the customer charge, which covers the administrative cost of reading meters, billing, and collecting payments. Two cents of each dollar is used to help us meet federally mandated environmental regulations. Two cents goes to pay state taxes. And the last six cents? Because we're owned by you, the public, we pay a dividend to the local government to support city services like public safety and parks. It's our version of property taxes and fees. So that's where every cent of your money goes. We must keep our eyes on the future to continue providing the high level of service our customers depend on. And although our rates are some of the lowest in the state, sometimes rates do go up, and that's not something we take lightly. This is because the cost of doing business or maintenance increases, or due to federal requirements Lakeland Electric must meet. Ultimately, our budget and rates are approved by the City of Lakeland City Commission each year. But behind the scenes, it's the commitment of our staff city commissioners, and utility committee members that helps ensure our rates are as low as possible. With every cent of every dollar going to keep the community powered with energy that's affordable, dependable, and sustainable. For more than 110 years, our philosophy hasn't changed. We're still local people serving local people, and we're proud to serve you. Get to know us better. Visit lakelandelectric.com. Award of Merit, CPS Energy, Texas. When I had a dream of creating a place where all children of any ability could participate, it was just that, a dream. In the old quarry that would become Morgan's Wonderland, there was nothing but rock, literally. Not an energy grid, infrastructure, power lines, nothing. But when I met with CPS and discussed the energy support I needed for what I wanted to create, my dreams became their dreams. As our teams worked together, CPS Energy became a trusted partner in making my dream a reality. They went above and beyond to supply the energy we needed, and they are right alongside me as my dream continues to grow. I'm Gordon Hartman, Morgan's dad and CEO of the Gordon Hartman Family Foundation. Thank you.
PBS Energy. Power to dream. Award of Merit. Tacoma Public Utilities. Washington. Look at the ice. You know, it looks like you see on TV. Twin Rings in Tacoma wasn't sure what to expect from their new piece of equipment purchased with Tacoma Power's help. It allows them to fill their Zamboni with deoxygenated water. It spins the water into a vortex or like a cyclone. It means they get crystal clear water without having to boil out the air, a step that traditionally costs ice rings thousands. This nozzle does it without heating at all, so it saves them a ton of energy and makes a lot better ice. Less energy, and as they're discovering, a much better product. First thing we saw is just the clear ice. The lines show up, you know, it's easier for the referees, Easier for the scorekeepers. It's absolutely fantastic. Savings from not heating the water and then cooling the building every time they run the Zamboni adds up to about $12,000 a year. I was amazed. It, it, it cuts their total electricity bill somewhere between 15 and 20 percent. Twin Rings and Tacoma Power are now looking at five additional savings projects. We're going to do as much as we can. Did you have fun that game? It's a partnership that benefits this small business and the community. We've got uh, grandchildren playing, and we want to leave them something that's better than now. Award of Excellence, Florida Municipal Power Agency. In the 29 years I've worked at Keys Energy, we've had storms, but none of them compared to Hurricane Irma. Irma was like nothing I've ever seen before. Um, it's a, probably the scariest storm I've been through. Our emergency operations manager said that they were evacuating and that they encouraged the partners like utilities to consider evacuation. We had a meeting, basically, and they asked everybody who was staying, who was leaving, and at that time, um, Everyone in the line department and uh, electrical department um, said they were going to stay and ride out the storm. Hurricane Irma blew through on Sunday, so Monday morning we were able to get outside and call to say, hey, we're here, we're fine, um, we have damage, but all's well. And we found that we had transmission damage and we had tremendous distribution damage. Every single customer in our service area was without power. I think we all thought that it would be weeks before we would get things done. We have to have a hospital, we have to have electricity, and we have to have water before we can let people back in. And it's very difficult in this community because for the most part, many employees don't get paid unless they're working. So the pressure on the utility to get the lights back on so that tourism can return is incredible. We had no power, we had no water, but we had gas, so what we did is we opened back up the day after the storm, we started cooking, and we started feeding people. But we never charged anybody for any meals for 21 days. FMPA arrived on the scene probably Wednesday. FMPA was able to identify things that we didn't know uh, that we even needed to have completed, and, and they were so helpful. I think within the first five days, we had about 50% of our customers back, and 20 days later, we were all restored. I think it was four or five days I got power. I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen guys work like this, ever. Our linemen are viewed as heroes in our community. They make life come back after a storm. I think the community recognizes that and they're very grateful. Award of Excellence, OUC, the Reliable One, Florida. The Children's Safety Village is a private nonprofit that was uh, started back in 1994. Our mission is to uh, try to make the children as safe as possible in this community through advocacy, uh, leadership, and hands-on experience. So today we're out here at Children's Safety Village um, out to beautify the campus for our community Earth Month project. 
we have more than 50 people. Um, OUC employees with their family and friends um, here for about five hours. We started in the morning and um, they're doing lots of different projects. I've got my hands dirty mulching. Um, I've even helped to plant some trees. Well, I am just helping Mama plant some plants. It really means a lot, um, just the fact that we can come together as a family and do our part to give back to the community. I volunteer because first of all, I want to make sure that I'm doing my part to give back to the community. And I also like to bring my kids to the event so they know that everything is not free in life. I just love working for a company that um, enjoys helping out the community. We've been coined the reliable one. So not only are we the reliable one, we're the dependable one, and we're the working one. We you know, come out and we give back to the community. You can't say that about many other companies, and that's why I love OUC so much. We're here not just to provide power and water, but to be a helping hand and to be um, a support here in our community and for our customers.